Russian President Vladimir Putin has held talks with his South African counterpart Cyril Ramaphosa after the conclusion of the Russia-Africa summit. Now, Putin also met with leaders of the major African states and organizations during the summit and Putin and Ramaphosa discussed bilateral relations and cooperation with BRICS and the United Nations. Now, Putin has said that he'll be closely providing support to South Africa in organizing the summit of the BRICS later this summer. Ramaphosa described the Russia-Africa summit, which concluded on Friday, as very successful. Meanwhile, Putin has also met with a delegation from Burkina Faso and St. Petersburg after the conclusion of the Russia-Africa summit. The Burkina Faso's interim president, Ibrahim Traore, has assured Putin of his country's friendship and support. At the Russia-Africa summit that took place in St. Petersburg, African nations have pressed Russian President Vladimir Putin to end the Ukraine war. They've called on Moscow to renew the Black Sea grain deal that it halted last week. The South African President Cyril Ramaphosa insisted that the African leaders had in fact travelled to St. Petersburg to advocate for peace in Ukraine and to reopen the Black Sea for trade and not to plead for donations of grain to the African continent. Now this comes after Putin's commitment at the forum that Russia will replace the Ukrainian grain supplies affected by its deal exit. Putin also said that he respects their proposal and has added that Moscow is increasing its food supplies to Africa, including the free grain shipments that he had announced earlier. Now, Putin had promised free grain supplies to six African nations, namely Eritrea, Mali, Burkina Faso, Zimbabwe, Somalia and the Central African Republic. Now, remember, Eritrea and Mali are the only African nations to have repeatedly voted in Russia's favour in the United Nations General Assembly resolutions. Moreover, in both Mali and the Central African Republic, Russia's Wagner mercenary group remains active. Beyond is now available in your country. Download the app now and get all the news on the move.